Tool Browser is fast gaining momentum thanks to its mix of low memory footprint and of course security thanks to the network of onion relays that anonymize your browsing. That anonymity can slow down your browsing however. So here we put together a bunch of tips to help you speed back up again. Tool preserves your anonymity online through its unique onion routing in which your encrypted data passes through several intermediary nodes. Each node is peeled back one at a time much like an onion. None of them know anything about the origin of your data or your final destination, thus protecting your identity. There is a drawback though. Since the traffic in Tor is routed through multiple onion relays, it can significantly reduce your browsing speed. Also, ISPs can restrict or throttle Tor traffic without prior warning. Tor FAQs say that their main focus is security and not speed. That being said, the following tips will help speed up the Tor browser and make Tor faster. Check Tor browser for the latest updates. Frequent experience suggests updating the Tor browser allows you to achieve faster speeds. Go to the three bar menu icon in the top right followed by options and the general tab. Or you can simply type in about colon preferences. Here you can check for any updates. If there hasn't been an update in a long time, you may experience slower speeds. Thus, it is better to stay frequently updated. Use bridge relays. If you suspect that the ISP is throttling your bandwidth while you're using Tor, you will have to use one of its features called bridge relays. This would make it more difficult for anyone monitoring your traffic to determine that you are using this anonymous browser. Tor cannot use a bridge if a proxy was set by you, by the way. To begin, go to the options menu from the free bar icon on the top right and select Tor settings. Here you can find the bridges section. Don't use the bridge relays if your Tor speeds are normal, by the way. It will still be slower than your regular ISP speeds. While using a select built-in bridge, you should use the available options such as OBFS4 and Meek Azure, as they will disguise the traffic between the client, you, and the first hop so that the ISP cannot identify you as a Tor connection. You can also request a new bridge from torproject.com. After you solve the capture, you will get a bridge connection which will look something like this. Sometimes no new bridges are available, in which case you can request one by dropping an email to bridges at torproject.org from Gmail, Yahoo or Rise Up addresses. After a successful bridge connection, you can enjoy regular and higher tour speeds independent of your ISP restrictions. Use new tour circuit for this site. If your web page is not loading fast enough, it can be due to several reasons, such as social networking buttons, analytical tools, advertisements, and other factors. To solve these issues, Tor had a new feature which allows the website or active window to be reloaded over a new Tor circuit. This menu item can be accessed from the three bar menu. Every time your web page refuses to load quickly, you can click this option for a new circuit. Of course, for this option to be visible, you need to update your Tor browser. Use new identity for Tor. Sometimes when you're stuck at slower speeds for no reason, it may be helpful to restart the Tor browser to get fresh speeds. You can also use another feature called New Identity, which is accessible from the three bar menu. This is also a nice security feature as it prevents your subsequent browser activity from being linkable to what you were doing before. Optimize your PC, Mac or Linux for Tor activities. To ensure that speed issues are minimal, you need to ensure that your system clock and time zone are set correctly. Tor recommends that the following software be temporarily disabled as they've been known to interfere with browsing. Webroot Secure Anywhere, Kaspersky Internet Security 2012, Sophos Antivirus for Mac and Microsoft Security Essentials. It's better to disable any antivirus software affecting your system tray. Also disable your firewall and if you're using a new Tor browser version, uninstall the older one. Do not overwrite the old program. If another Tor is running, it can severely impact your connection speeds. You should configure Tor to isolate cookies and delete your browsing history after each session. Go to About colon preferences hash privacy in Tor and make sure you enable these privacy options. Use recommended performance settings. Tor has a feature that allows you to adjust the browser's performance values based on your computer's hardware and operating system. It can be accessed from settings and is disabled by default. Enable it to ensure proper speeds that are supported by your device. OK, in summary, Tor has become the go-to browser for privacy lovers, activists, journalists and all those who prefer anonymity in their browsing or when accessing the dark web. Wow. 
By using the methods mentioned in this video, you can speed up tour and surf with ease. Need some more tour tips? Learn how to set up tour proxy on Raspberry Pi or learn how to protect yourself from malicious tour exit nodes? Links to all that in the description. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.